So I saw about this and there were had stock available, which I did not think they would have stock available on seed, just the way the hype train runs with some of the home assistant stuff, which kudos to them. And yeah, seed shipped this stupid fast. So yeah, I did buy this with my own funds. So totally unbiased. So what is this exactly? My opinion is, yeah, the yellow came out, which is Raspberry Pi 4 based, which is kind of slow to me. You couldn't get the CM4 modules. I think you can get them now after, what, a couple years? And people complained and everything. Well, this is all together, all in one, and you can get this guy. Well, not right now, because they all kind of sold out already, but they're going to have more batches. Don't have the issue like the, the Raspberry Pi modules. And this is right at like $99, $100 US, plus shipping, taxes, and whatever else. So... Let's all dig into this. I have not read up on everything with the specs on it, on all what is inside. I have not even opened it. And it has the new logo and say what you will there. <laughs> okay. This is supposed to run all the things Home Assistant. Um, it's going to probably have the HAOS preloaded I'm assuming so kind of cool there I know some people don't want to load their own you know OS on their little box like some of the little mini nucks and whatever and I'll kind of give my closing of in this of what I think about things um, so HDMI port power USB micro SD gigabit Ethernet I don't know if this has Wi-Fi um, wow it's got a little heft to it That's the little metal heat sink that's on it. Got a clear top to it, so no blue stuff. I guess that's why they call it the green, so you can see the green board. Um, I guess reset button possibly, what is that? That's the power off button. Press and hold for six seconds to shut down safely or 12 seconds to force the shutdown. There's LEDs up front, some jumpers in there, and you know uh, well, I'm, you know I'm going to take this apart. Um, let's see what else is in the box. Ethernet cable. Got the little prongs. Looks like even a shielded Ethernet cable. Okay. Power supply. Probably all the parts and pieces for all the different plugs. Yes. Pop on whatever you want. All the plugs. Um, what do we have for amperage? One amp, 12 watts, 12 volts, typical kind of power supply. Looks like the same size barrel jack that is on the camera ones, kind of. I'm kind of curious to see. Yeah, and it is. Let's zoom back out. So, yeah, that it is. I mean, that's going to be your regular... What I just plugged in, I've got a little 12 volt, one amp power supply like you get with a lot of PoE cameras, you know, that you have the option, but you know, I don't use them because I'm using PoE. So that's kind of neat. I guess we'll have to see what the power draw is for this thing. Let's take it apart before we even see if it works. That's the way we do things, right? It's a regular Phillips. Very, okay. So on the board, They've got this little heat transfer pad to get to the heat sink. Um, here's the board here. Let's take it out of the case. The case is just no frills. Not a whole lot here at all. So I'm assuming there's no Zigbee or Z-Wave stuff on here. Or there's no Wi-Fi at all either. Okay, I guess that, you know, keeps the cost down. So the micro SD card, I saw it says for recovery purposes. And then you got the D, okay, then we got a debug down here, RX, TX, and ground. Probably a serial console. I wonder what the three dots are for. Is that designed for the, for the three points? That's weird. On the back... Open source automation. It puts local control. Yeah, the same deal. Green Home Assistant I.O. The pad been juicing on the chip. But we got RK3566. I think we knew that. 
Rock Chip RK809-5. A quick look up for that chip. That is the power management chip. So yeah, not a whole lot going on here, but I guess it is just $100. So they were trying to keep that price point there. I'm curious to see the performance of this Rock Chip. So for software wise, yeah, right out of the box, plug it in, it goes right into the onboarding of Home Assistant. You really don't really need the HDMI port on it, but it's more like debugging. I guess you could see the IP address. It's much like hooking up the HDMI to a Raspberry Pi 4. Now getting into that, it is going to be a right along the same performance as the Raspberry Pi 4. So yeah, it's dog slow. Um, sorry for the Raspberry Pi people out there. I can't stand the performance of that processor because once you go to something better, there's no going back. Just seeing the snappiness of some other devices such as you could get an N95 Nook for like $20, $30 more and get like 10 times the performance, 10 times the space. It does pull a little more power because that processor but yeah this one is going to pull and pull like that one to two watts that's stupid low considering even the low power you get say from those n95 nucks that are pulling like seven watts so that's definitely a drop in power even i think it even pulls less than the raspberry pi 4 it puts it right along the same performance but i probably wouldn't upgrade to this if you got a raspberry pi 4 i would probably jump into something much quicker for about the same money now there is no z wave there's no zigbee on this so again you're going to have to add those little radios you can do like poe splitters so if you really want to run this poe um, but then of course that price continues to drive up there so do think about that now heat wise i did check out on the fleer it only was running like 80 degrees fahrenheit even after running a bunch of compilations of esp home of different devices which really taxes the processor so it definitely has a big ass heat sink and it can probably work in some really warm environments if you wanted to run it somewhere without any ventilation it would probably do well now, is this something you should buy? I'm probably going to say no, unless you just really want to get a family member into that $100 price point. But I probably more recommend you go with a little bit better nook to give them some better speed and performance, especially if they're more of the tinkering type. It's not hard to put Home Assistant HOS on those and it'd be all the same. But if you're looking for something ready to go right out of the box, $100, rock and roll with Home Assistant's probably the device for you. So that'll about do it for this one. Pretty cool look at this box. And I do appreciate all the Patreon members, YouTube members. And yep, y'all know the drill. Press all them buttons and y'all take care. This is not all. This oh. is the best part. The best part. The best part by... Because the... Um, look at that view, T. Yeah. I can see all the way back there. You gonna go climb those mountains? No. And whenever you're ready, you can jump that way as far as you can, okay? Let's go for it. Yeah! <laughs> little thrill seeker, isn't it? Yes. yes. And whenever you're ready, you can jump that way as far as you can, okay? Let's go for it. Yeah! Oh, you're just too good.